happy. And then Envy's like, I got this. I, I'll surprise you with more drafts. Hold my beer. Bang. This is how it goes. But legit, Brewmaster support is a thing. I've seen some teams run it before. Why is DJ muted? Running two pause threes. They will pressure to look for stun up onto Pile I Die. They have a stun from jabs if they need to. Looking for it. Raise. Boogie gets the kill. They wanted to give that to Moon. That was the ideal situation right there. Have to eat the shock to follow as well. Getting the stun. They get the nice impale onto Pile I Die. Mushi wants that plus two, but he made us end up giving away a one. Pile Dai going down here to Boogie and Jabs. Mushi still around. The Tango's coming up. Ooh, nice choreo snipe. Salves and Lucifer. He's not afraid to play up here against Universe. Top lane diving. The shock. They want to kill Jabs. He's gonna try and turn this around. The toss. DJ almost dies. We will get the bounty and salving up as well, giving the bounty in a way to Envy as Mushi will chase him down, laying all those glaives of wisdom. Jabs almost dying to the creeps here. She takes the aggro away. Thunderclap, Moon is dead. Very, very dead. As Lucifer actually solo kills Universe. Trade is real. An impale being used, yep. Moon diving him behind the tier 1 tower. Jabs is here. Has the avalanche. He's gonna go straight into Albert. Toss him all the way to the tier 1 tower. In front of Ninja Boogie, they didn't time the stun strike, but it's alright. Albert actually might end up dying here. <coughs> Whew. Close one. After the one kill. Boring all, but here comes Pile I Die. He has the shackle. Standing is at the Firestorm. He's gonna be okay. He has. No, yeah, he's fine. He has the repel. He has the purification. Not in any real trouble. Bottom lane, Mushi once more going for another TP out. Oh, in this rune as well. Very big. Oh, they might find someone. They found a Shadow Shaman. Looking for the Razors. Combo. Down he goes, and down goes Pile I Die. Blanche combo, Razors. Ooh, misses the W. But now the turnaround. They have the Fork Lightning. They have the Shackle as well. Pile I Die thinking about committing for this kill. The toss. Never mind. Pile I Die actually getting himself a very nice kill. Pushing it to the fullest extent. And now then. Highlight getting ready. They use the trap. The primal split's gonna be used. They get the stun onto Mushi. I'll bet gonna find himself a very nice kill here. Popping the one shot is but Mushi will go down, burning down to the DJ primal split. Cycle number is here. DJ, he's found Jabs as well. They get the slow. Jabs will probably end up dying here. Very, very worth the primal split. Getting a nice avalanche, but DJ will get the kill nonetheless. Double kill for DJ. The first primal split of the game. In, but I don't think that's the play moon. They want to fight this. Ninja Boogie comes in with the stun. He's found DJ. They need the raises. Will not be enough as the pit of mouse catches too. Avalanche and Abed. Moon trying to dish out whatever damage he can, but there goes the shackle. Paladar, he's caught the Omni Knight. Trying to hunt him down. Purification doesn't really land. Jabs still trying to go back in, but Abed with the mouse strike will find one. No, now we're going to see that MP will finally land onto Abed with the repel. Lucifer will have to walk this one up, but there goes the nice shackle. Abed. Ooh, the side blades. He finds the triple kill. Abed. Stack neutrals, stack heroes, that's how it's going. He's gone under the tower already, he gets the impale out. Do they have enough damage? No, they do not. Looking for the stun, will it be enough? The raises, universe. Oh, we actually get the TP out to the shrine. So he's gonna be okay, they expected that. And meanwhile, while all that's happening, stolen serpent, sorry, no, yeah, they have the serpent wards. And next. The TPs are coming in, they want to try and go for this. The primal split's already been used. Lucifer, the repel is only level one. It's about to expire. The cycle up into the air. They've caught the moon. He needs to channel the record of soul, the purification, and now the guardian angel and the global stars to go for turn around. Pilot I goes down, and the turn is perfect. Coming out from Mineski. They will go for a bit more. Trying to kill off DJ who blinks out. Very, very close call. But you have to come in your Guardian Angel and the Global Silence for this. Shadow Shaman's back up in a bit and they will try to still see on the tier 2 very shortly. Mineski will retreat. But they did not get the stuff, but he did pop the trap. He's going straight for Moon. He's gonna pop the Requiem of Souls, but he will get right click down nonetheless. Ah, bad destroying Moon. It's a double lock. He might find Pile I Die. Nervous is not the kill they were looking for. Oh, bogey. Courier, tasty courier. Bing, bing, bing. Nice bit of gold. Nice bit of cash. Now he's on the run. Pi die on the hunt. Chase him down. The bait is here. The impale is there. The pit of malice will trap too. Looking for the avalanche. Ninja Boogie with the carapace. Tossing him forward. He needs the raiders. One to find one. Can he make it two? The shackle is there onto Moon. Needing. Okay, now I'm going to pop the primal split. Boogie's going to be kept alive by the GA. 
And over the back, the slipping ones will be out of place. Abed trying to chase after them. He has to Aegis. We'll get the stun from Ninja Boogie and win. We immediately go for the TP out. Ninja Boogie will get stunned up and Abed will shred that bog to pieces. And they will run. They will try to disengage. Jab is picking up the haste win and they will, they will, they will successfully retreat. So it will be a one for one trade. But over to fight this. Oh, moon! Abed! And Abed just down to two heroes. You have to buy back. Well, they used the fortification for this. Lucifer is walking in the front lines. They want to try and burn the Aegis down at least. They will right click him down, and they successfully will. Assassin is back in. Will they get the stuns up perfectly? They need to. But an immediate blink out, and they are okay. So Fnatic would just disengage. Big thing about that is that who's here in one looks like he may have found himself a very tasty target trying to go into Mushi. The time lapse out immediately after he saw Lucifer. Doesn't want to hang around. But Boogie, he has found him. Good think about Pile I Die, but Moon. He's found a very angry Envy. You do not want to anger an otaku with a double damage rune. They popped the primal split for this. They want to try and fight this. And Moon, purification and repel will not be enough to keep him alive. They did not have the Guardian Angel. is still on cooldown for two more seconds. And Boogie popping the KFS. They want to try and turn around and try to kill Pylai. Dive, toss up into the air. And down he goes with the impale. Hold on. Okay, now they will finally kill him up. But it's too late. Ninja Boogie has been brought down. Japs will be hunted down by Universe and Abed. It looks like Japs will get shredded. Triple kill for Abed. They're going straight to the top lane. They want to pressure that tier 3 tower. It's about to fall. Universe and Abed, they will be able to take it nice and easy, in fact. And actually, no. Mushi. Oh, dear. You don't want to be there. The buyback comes out. Mushi somehow survives it only because he is a cold with the four staff. But the fortification used up. Lucifer will stand in the front line to try and take out that cart. Oh, uh, Mushi. One. Ooh. One more hit. Wow. Wait, what? The trap damage. Okay. Mushi is officially having a nightmare game. Zero and three as a core silencer. He expected kills in the top lane. Never found it. Jaboogie. That carapace, one, two, the purification, and oh, the repel as well. Hit him out, catching three. They want to try and jump into Abed with the last word, start silencing him up, but he will blink out. Okay, for a bit more. They could be looking here to Eternal Envy at the top end, who definitely wants his tier three. He's gonna get it, in fact. And he's gonna time lapse out, but he's been walking into the loving embrace of the bug and the rock. They found Eternal Envy. They just purification, toss him up into the air. We want to kill him off. They dropped the sentry. Nope, Carapace just a bit too slow. They throw the tree grab, but can they kill Eternal Envy? They need to stun the mana burn to break the Lincolns, but they just can't kill him. Oh dear, Mineski, that was a huge commitment and the tier 3 tower down. The shrines are now open for Fnatic to just... Ah, bad. Lucifer, but that Crimson God, he's tanky. Holding on for dear life, Mineski are. I get him. DJ, he's waiting in the top. He is smoked up. Neski don't want anything to do with that for now. The, the priority is getting Lucifer his items. What? Or his next item at least. He will have the relic. So a tiny glimmer of hope. Mushi ever so poor in 6,000 net worth. Just... It's just so hard to farm. All very easy here. Hype Crimson God. There is a severe shortage of damage right now coming up from Mineski's arsenal. Solar Crest on Jabs. Hoping for level 12. Grow. 400 gold away, but the Underlord's already TPing to the top. Running out of time. We will go straight for the range tracks. I feel right now, if you're Mineski, you have no choice. You just give away this Rax. You don't have a choice. You have to play with this Rax advantage. Because you're playing Emphasis on Lucifer to pick up the Radiance, and he just picked it up. Maybe, he, maybe he's done it. They will use the fortification, he's just bought himself a bit more time. Lucifer's coming in to repel. Purification keeping him alive, but Abed, oh, very nicely done. The Serpent wants to do some certain good damage. DJ will pop the primal split. No global silence popped yet. Guardian Angel doesn't have the mana for it, and Lucifer may actually end up dying. Now he pops the Guardian, the Meteor Rex is already falling. Rapture of Souls fires out. Abed with the BKB up. Look at the primal split, the Bruelings. To get the stun up, can he kill Envy? No, he can't. It looks like Moon and Lucifer fall very low, and down goes Moon. He has the buyback. Next Assassin doesn't have buyback though, Ninja Boogie, and actually looks like Mushi will also get brought down by Abed. As the Shadow Fiend buyback should have been used, but what can he do with it? He doesn't have the souls. He doesn't have the items. Stand in the front. I think Fnatic have done it. They have 20,000 gold advances, 21 to 8, and the kill score. There's just no way to fight. 
Hex up, killing it. They could be thinking about going back in Arbet. He has the Flame Dagger. He's trying to go here into Lucifer, who is standing in the front lines with the Repel up. He's burning down Arbet. He's gonna try and burn him down, who still has the Aegis. Mounted Dodge and Moon, never mind, almost dead. In fact, the Finamas chopping him into place. He might actually end up dying here. We're gonna try and chase him down. The Thunderclap from DJ to finish him off. And we love the buyback on Nana. I think this is over. And 22,000 gold. Can they, can they play against this huge disadvantage? Trying for the place. Hail, two men impale, Lucifer still standing in the front line, he can't do anything. Toss damage comes out, and Mineski will just try. They will try to play against this massive disadvantage. Perifist, I'll bet they caught him in place, they know where he is, the toss is there. I'll bet the stun is there as well. Can they kill him off? Can they get the damage? Can they finally get some intel? Yep, Mushi will finally get plus two more intel. The toss coming in, Mushi, ooh, that's, that's scary. DJ and Pilot are there with the Thunderclap Lucifer. They will try to burn Pilot Die down and leave the one two, but the shackle is there holding him in place. Lucifer will burn Pilot Die down. And somehow they get two kills. Well, more intelligence stacks going to be a Mushi, but Fnatic, they have taken the objectives. That was all that matters. They will try to set up at least for Eternal Envy. Usually as a Shadow Fiend by now, you would want to be a hit by a significant amount going up against the TA, but we'll try. They'll get a bit of siege damage out. The TPs are coming in. Lucifer has to repel. They'll go for the TP out. No way to stop. For TP, no TPs out. G, he'll be okay. Can get the Hex. I guess the Hex will be like a, a very big item. Or it could be a Lincoln. Yeah, it could be a Lincoln's. I mean, or with an ultimate orb. Yeah, so Hex is the most likely option here. Ooh. Moon is down for 70 seconds. Where is Troubles? Just casually walking by. They will go straight for the tier fours. They have to defend, they have to hold, they have their spells. But the Serpent ones have been thrown. All cards on the table. Lucifer will walk in. He's gonna try and hold. But the Primal Split is still doing some damage to the tier 4 towers. Fnatic are gonna try to end this game right here, right now. <laughs> nice pit catching two. Cycling up into the air. And they will take the first tier 4 tower. Fnatic. One step closer to doing it. Lucifer still standing in the front. He has Guardian Angel. He's gonna try and burn these heroes down. Avalanche on two. Abed popping the BKB. Time himself from Envy. Ninja Boogie. The side beast. The Guardian Angel. He will still go down to Abed from that Psionic Trap. He will buy back. They have to, they have to try and fight this. Lucifer still walking in the front lines. Shiva's got, he has found DJ. Nowhere for DJ to go. The clicks, not enough mana, but the impale, they will find some. So a bit of hope for Lucifer will actually end up going down here. He doesn't have a buyback. Down the buyback got from DJ. Mushi also about to get right here. Three heroes down. Jabs, nowhere to go, nowhere to run. No money for buyback? Okay, he does. But the tier 4 tower, still barely standing. And Mineski will call it. 28 to 11 of a 21,000 gold advantage, 32 minutes in. Fnatic will move on one step closer in the lowest bracket. Very hard game.